Welcome back to Creeper World 4. Now, in the past, we actually had it to where we got to play as the Creeper. Normally, we're fighting the Creeper. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be asking the question, what if we were the queen of the Creeper? Similar to, like, the queen of the Zerg in StarCraft. And we're overlooking this planet, and we have to ask the question, how are we going to take it over, right? We can start with, like, bombarding things, right? Well, one of the things we can do is we're going to be able to to spawn an egg every 15 seconds and we're gonna be able to use those now eggs if you're not familiar well let's wait till we get three here they do this it'll pop and then a just cascading mountain of creepers about to pop up and once it does that well you're gonna be able to start basically bombarding the planet with meteorites of creeper so I'm thinking right here, this is a, an emitter. This would be a good one to take if we could take it kind of early. There are a lot of towers here, but if we can take this nullifier out, we're going to spawn in some creeper right now. And one of the things I think I can do is I think I can boost. What does boosting do exactly? That's one of my abilities. And I also have this one called rocks. And I think these rocks are actually meteorites. Okay, that just... Oh my gosh, they just destroy. Okay, well, that's pretty awesome. Rocks are really good. Like, if I rocked this thing, this is a sniper, and this is a blob nest, right? So that's probably the one we're going to want to go for next. I've got four eggs here. So four eggs are going to pop up right here. What's this gray tile all about? Oh, maybe... Okay, they don't have these little solar towers. So there we go. Four cascading mountains to try to take as many... Here, let's go ahead and boost. I just used all the boosts. I'm not... in quite familiar with what it does, but it, it seems like it's keeping the creeper in place there, which is helping. So we're going to spawn some more in here. Ooh, one of those eggs was sniped. They do have snipers in and around that vicinity. And we've almost taken our first mountaintop here. And look at that. Okay, so that's what boost does. Boost absolutely crushes it. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this is an air sac ca cauldron that's pretty well garrisoned. We've got some emitters, a skimmer factory, spore launchers. So we're basically trying to take this whole area. And look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to try to rock. Oh, that's weird. That's not where I clicked it at all. That's super weird. Can I destroy these rocks? I think so. Okay, so we have just this mountain top of creeper. Now, what if I boost it three more times? What happens? Do you see anything really happening? I guess that tower is getting bigger. Dude, that's pretty imposing. I am the queen creeper and I am taking over this planet. It's kind of fun though. Like it's a nice change of pace. All right, we're just like taking over this area, man. And I'm gonna boost it with what I can. So we've taken the two mountaintops already. There's a few vestiges, but there's nothing that I can really get from them. And one thing to keep note of is you see this white fluid everywhere? Well, that's anti-creeper. So that is gonna require a ton, a ton of stuff in order for that to work. I'm thinking the blob nests are gonna really be helpful here. I guess one of the things we could do is try to take this mountain with two eggs. Oh, wow. And I boosted that. I'm gonna have to wait till that mortar gets destroyed, which just happened here. And I boosted it. Did anything happen? I'll put another egg. I'm hoping that the boost keeps it there. I guess that's a distraction. Oh, I can use these rocks to try to target the nullifiers. But I, I keep missing. These are supposed to be like asteroids falling from the sky as an ability. All right, this one seems to be pretty good. <laughs> But I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, look at that. Immediately destroyed. We didn't do too much to dent it. I think maybe focusing on these mountaintop forts could be pretty good. So Baron's Brigade, I want to give a big shout out to Aspire for sponsoring this video a long time ago, back in 2005, in a world far, far away. I was in love with the game. Star Wars Republic Commando. Now, this is one of the fan favorites from the golden era of Star Wars games, and now it's back for the PS4 and Nintendo Switch. If you've ever played it, or like me, loved it, want to play it again, you've got to check it out by clicking the link in the description and downloading it at the insanely low price of $14.99. Now, if you're not familiar, the game follows an elite squad of Republic Commandos, and as their leader, your mission is to infiltrate, dominate, and ultimately annihilate the highly intelligent and deadly enemies you'll face, from brutal Trandoshan mercenaries to flying insectoid warriors of Geonosis and much more. Now, the game is super fun, first-person shooter from the Star Wars universe with tactical 
developments. Your squad of Republic commandos will follow your orders, performing complex commands and strategic maneuvers that when you finally master, they'll make you an extremely powerful force. I highly recommend you check out Star Wars Republic Commando by clicking the link in the description below. Now back to the action. Calling in a asteroid, please. All right, we are slowly taking out these towers. Is someone in a rock right here? Ooh, that destroyed that tower. That's good. Can I boost it some more? Unit limit. Oh, that's the problem, huh? Where's the next thing we can target? Oh my gosh, those mortars. But if I can take out that nullifier, we almost did it. We almost took out that nullifier. He's very weak. Then this guy should start to emit and it will keep these things distracted. And then I just need to keep doing that in other places. Target the nullifiers. Got it. But I want it, I want at least two eggs per attack. This emitter would actually be pretty good to get. I feel like this should be cascading a little bit more. 210 every half second? That's a ton. All right, operation eliminate the nullifier. Nullify the nullifier. There he is, he's down. This one should be emitting then. This one will do 10 every half second and that one's 50 every half second. So it's really not a lot. So I feel like playing at 2x speed is gonna be pretty good. So that we spawn these in a little bit faster. If I can eliminate this spore launcher. Oh, he's firing and he fires through the anti-creeper and he drops eggs too, okay good. All right, almost eliminated that nullifier. Yes, there he is, he's down. This spore launcher is gonna start firing. So we're basically just creating eruptions of creeper. The anti-creeper is proving effective enough to silence this emitter right here. So the next one is probably the skimmer factory. Oh, I love hearing that little siren and knowing that it's us that it's about to fire this time. Look at these just like volcanoes. We've got the three, let's target the skimmer factory's nullifier. That should do it. And skimmers will be pretty effective. This blob nest, oh, an air sac cauldron. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be a huge boost to our attack if they're working. We probably should have timed that a little bit better. Yeah, cause he's gonna get absolutely sniped. Look at that, he's getting sniped and missiled. All right, where are some other things that I need to try to nullify or take out? Oh, there's a dark tower over here. Let's try this with a rock, but it might be too far. Oh, that's a shield generator, isn't it? Well, it hit something. I would like to take out the dark tower. Okay, we took it out. Is he able to push back anti-creeper at all? What if we took out their mines and they call them a mine? Their upgrade center. There's a pretty big base going on here. Meteorites are definitely random. They don't hit exactly where you target them. So that's kind of like the crazy part. Blobs aren't effective yet. I don't think skimmers are effective at all. Whoa, what happened up here? Oh, whatever happened, I was able to get some eggs out there. I've got 12 boosts and I don't know what it does. I still don't know what it does. This is probably my best chance to get more creeper coming out. I've got seven eggs here. All right, I spawn them all there and I'm boosting as much as I can. Hey, we cleared out some area and this guy's emitting. Oh wait, wait a minute. I boost him? Yes. Okay, now I figured out how the boosting works. So I need to boost this one too. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now that I figured that out, you can see how effective we are. Now, how do I break? Okay, so this power line is connected right here. So if we destroy it, we cut the power to everything guarding the air sac cauldron, right? And the enemy won't be able to replenish it this time. Yes! Okay, now I'm starting to figure out how to do this properly. That is really cool. I like this boosting mechanic. So now this guy's pumping out 70. All right, who do we need to take out? Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh. We're taking over the world now, boys. All right, let's boost this guy again. That is really, really awesome. Yeah, like, look at my empire right now. If you're the queen, you're like, yeah, it's only a matter of time till we take over this planet. And it joins the consciousness, a hive mind that is the creeper. Look at this poor tower, like, oh my God, dude. Oh my God, you're having a bad day, aren't you, buddy? Here, let me help you have a worse day. <laughs> And I'm gonna boost this guy. The spores are launching, but they have multiple missile systems all over the place. Oh no, we got a stash. Oh yeah, I wanna boost the thing near the stash. We got the air sac going. Everything's not making it very far, but at least he's distracting them, okay? He's giving them something to think about. The beginning of the end starts now. Now, can I boost this guy? Skimmer might be really effective, but this is just epic looking. Okay, can I take over this mountain? Oh wow, those just started popping. Let's boost the skimmer. Dude, being the queen is awesome. I've just taken both these mountains out. And uh, I'm, if I can take this tower out, 
I will cut off power to this whole sector. And it will collapse. Watch the eventual collapse here. It's not a good day. Yes. The collapse of the human empire. Once I get to that dark tower, things are going to go very, very well. What can I do now? But I've pretty much reached the extent of uh, my spawners here. So now what I could do is just start pumping them with boosts, right? So this one is near a stash, so I feel like that's pretty good. Stashes can create like giant tidal waves. This is what it looks like, man. Epic. Oh, two stashes. I don't know how I missed that one. I have 10 eggs. Where can I do the most damage? Their miners could be pretty effective, but if I take out over here, Oh, well, that's all my eggs in one basket. <laughs> we will take over the world! Oh man, that's their anti-creeper spawning. Jeez. I think actually this mountain right here would be pretty good. I don't know why these ERNs are just floating around. I'm gonna try to take that. Oh! Oh, look at that! We've got Crimson Creeper, which is uh, very difficult to hit with conventional weaponry. Oh man. Dude, it's, it's not looking good for them. Looking very good for us. I just boosted the crap out of the skimmer factory. Maybe it's that they need to be in a sniper range. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, look at that. We precipitated the downfall of this pretty impressive front line. This is like their main front line. Once we take that, and this one is up to what? 370, 390. I should probably boost the air sac guy. All right, where else can I hit? This is the, the heart of the anti-creeper. Wow. We're actually having framing issues. Look at how many skimmers we're sending out. They can't snipe them all. <laughs> this is awesome. These shield generators are gonna be difficult to get through, but I think it's only a matter of time if you look at this. Like if this was a campaign level and I saw this, I'd be like, guys, I don't know how I'm supposed to stop this. The only objective is to reclaim the entire planet. Time to boost. There we go. We've eliminated that island fortress. They stunned all these towers and then I spawn in the eggs. Oh yeah, it's happening. The wave's coming. How can I precipitate this? There's no definitive answer. Dang, all the bombing went over here. Are they gonna explode and create creeper explosions? If they did, they just added to it. Oh man, look at all the towers just getting destroyed. Oh, yes. They lost their anti-creeper production zone. It's all gone. The end of the world. Imagine though, this was your planet and you're living in a high rise, you know, in the nice area of town and you look out from your awesome view and you're like, oh, that's the end of literally everything I know. Let's drop some rocks on these people. Got three eggs available. There's big boy bombing the town. Bomb it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's just too much sniping. All right, six eggs. Where do I want them? I still want this whole island to erupt. There we go. They caused the chain reaction. Oh, chain reaction behind enemy lines. It's like setting TNT in Minecraft. Should we play Minecraft? I feel like the answer is probably yes. There we go. Build this dark tower, man. They shouldn't be able to do anything to the dark tower. But I forget exactly what he does. Oh, this... Dang it. And it was at that time I remembered my Charlemagne. There we go. Now he's able to create darkness and now they can't attack it anymore. It looks like the bullets go right through it, maybe. I can't believe I forgot that. Massive tidal waves are coming. Look at how many spores are launched since I just boost them so much. How many is that? Okay, so seven. I have 14 spores. Now, I don't think any of them are gonna land. Oh, a shield generator did go down. They detonated on the shields and there was a temporary downing of it. That's cool. Let's boost them. All right, I got seven eggs. What do I wanna do with them? Get wrecked. <laughs> Take out their mining areas. The beautiful emerald city on the hill. Shield is barely holding. Creeper does eventually get through it. Skimmers are popping in here. Oh man, they stunned. If I could destroy that, can I put an egg inside? Nope. Oh, never mind. The shield's down. Shield's down for good. There goes their factory. Dead. Yes, you can hear the uh, main nexus under attack. So I'll pop two eggs up here. Oh, they fell off. Well, uh, I want lots of spore daddies in here. You can hear that, boys. The beginning of the end of days. This is what it looks like when worlds collide. <laughs> Good to be the creeper queen for once, though. I have 186 eggs apparently out on the map somewhere. Just destroy it. I'm surprised that thing's still alive. Can I surround it with rocks? Oh, reclaiming the world. Look at that. The last vestiges of life. 
extinguished. Ha <laughs> ha! The queen of creeper looks down at the beautiful creeper filled world and smiles approvingly. I don't think she would smile, but hey, my children, it is good to see you fully restored. Please take care of this world. Put in lots of hot tubs and burger joints. Many more need to be liberated of the oppressors. Praise the mother! Well, if you guys want to see more Creeper World 4, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.